Kia ora, this is Alistair Christie and in this video we're going to build the classic Fish Facts application um, and this time we're going to use FireMonkey. So let's create our FireMonkey Fish Facts application and we'll create a new FireMonkey HD application and we need a client data set, we need a data source and we need a binding scope DB and we'll also need a binding list. So, so our client data set, we'll go and load the example um, BioLife uh, XML file and um, we might as well data source our binding scope and our binding list, which you'll need shortly. Okay, so um, let's check down a string grid. And size that appropriately. Now, to link that up to our um, client data set, we need to create a new binding and we want a grid binding so a db bind db grid link and our grid control is our string grid and our data source is our binding scope and there we have data now we don't want notes and graphic in our grid so we can look at the columns property. Now I'll just add all the columns. So we'll just delete graphic and notes. And I um, don't care too much about uh, length and inches. And species number is just an inter internal ID number, which we probably don't want to display to the user anyway. Um, and we can resize some of these columns a bit. Okay, and so that's our uh, grid, and we want a navigator, which we want to hook up to our bind bind scope. Okay, and we're also going to need a, an image and a memo. So I'll throw down and image control uh, which I actually went on the form rather than the now there's something I've uh, I got to get my head around is that um, just about everything is a container for other things so um, and a memo so I got to make sure things are, are parented correctly so in this case I wanted my uh, image control parented to the form rather than my um, navigator, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But anyway, um, okay, so um, we can create two more bindings an image link to our, so link our um, binding scope to our image control via the graphic field and another binding for the memo so our binding scope to our memo control through notes and we can run that and there we have our fish facts example. Um, if we want to be able to edit the data we need to be able to persist the, um, the, the data to a file so um, let's go save project as And uh, change the 
the file name property. And now when we run that, I can make a change, go out of it, and it's saved, persisted the 51. Uh, the other thing I probably want to do is make word wrap on. Okay, so that's my uh, first video on FireMonkey. Um, so I'm just learning the data bindings at the moment. I, there are other ways of binding data as well. Um, the, the data binding system is quite sophisticated. Um, and um, yeah, I'm a long way of getting my head around it. So hopefully this is a, a, a first introduction for you um, and it'll allow you to make um, some data aware FireMonkey applications. Um, thanks for watching.